Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Kathy at your cervix. My name is Dr. Kathy Wolf. I am not here to be a substitute for your physician, but I'm just here to help answer some of your healthcare questions. On Thursdays, I will answer your questions that you've left in the comment section below from the last week's video. Carla asked, how common is it to see patients diagnosed with breast cancer in their 30s? As a woman in the United States, your overall lifetime risk is one in eight. According to the US Agency Surveillance Epidemiology and End Results, who tracks those numbers, says at the age of 30, your risk is one in 1,523. Five years later, at the age of 35, that risk rises to one in 453. And by 40, it's one in 173. So you can see it's not common, but as you age, that risk goes up. Thanks for that great question, Carla. The next question that was left was by Marty. Marty asks, a question that I would like to see answered publicly is, the pap smear doesn't test for ovarian cancer. What can a GYN offer patients to address this concern? Marty, you're exactly right. The pap smear doesn't test for ovarian cancer. The pap smear screens for cervical cancer. What is a screening test? A screening test is a test done when you have no symptoms. Currently, unfortunately, there are no screening tests for ovarian cancer. There are different types of ovarian cancer. So just like the word apples, where it's, um, it's a title for a group, um, so you have Macintosh, Granny Smith, the same way with ovarian cancer. There's different types of ovarian cancer. So there's epithelial, germ cell, stromal cell. And it's actually thought that some cancers start in the fallopian tube and they don't really directly come from the ovary. So by the time those are found, they've already spread. There have been studies that have done adding a transvaginal sonogram and a blood marker, the CA125, to the annual GYN exam. In the prostate, lung, colorectal, and ovarian cancer screening trial, of the women that had surgery for a positive test, 94% of them had no cancer. And of the 5% that had cancer, 72% were already advanced. So what can you do? Know your risks. Your age is a risk if you're over 55. Family history of ovarian, colon, or endometrial cancer. If you have a personal history of breast cancer. If you have any of the BRCA genes. Infertility, endometriosis, and Lynch syndrome. And make sure that you go to the gynecologist and have your pelvic exam done yearly. Thank you for your insightful questions. And thanks so much for watching the videos. I'll see you on Saturday.